Let's recite our four self affirmation for a maximum impact 2022. Number one, I have a heart. I have a heart of good. A heart, a heart that cares for the success of other people. Two, I am thankful. I am thankful now and grateful now that, that I build leaders, leaders in my business daily. daily. Number three. I am, I am thankful and grateful now that I am an Ellen Rockstar. How do I do it? I am thankful and grateful now that my team is expanding daily. daily. Number five. I am thankful, I am thankful and grateful now, now that, that I achieved my, my income, income goals for the, for the month. month. Number six. I am, I am thankful and grateful now that, that I am more than, than ever expected in my GTC. Number seven, I'm becoming, I'm becoming a great leader that drives change. change. Again, I'm becoming, I'm becoming a great leader that drives change. Again, I'm becoming a great leader that drives change. Becoming a great leader that drives change. Drives change. With God on my side, with God on my side, okay. I am unstoppable. So, okay, so thank you very much, each and every one of us. So sorry, I've been seriously down for the past three days. That's why I've not been on my camera. I've been seriously down, but thank God for life. Thank God for the gift of health. I'm getting better. Okay, so um, I still let me show my face. Thank too. God for your life. Uh, <laughs> thank God for your life. Uh, ah, this well. one's scarcity is not funny anymore. Ah. What's happening? They don't want to give us fuel in Nigeria. Eh? Because to even get fuel now when there's no light is another issue. Are you sure we'll hold our business meeting tonight? Because from what I'm hearing, there's no fuel in my area. In fact, the mainland server, I don't even know if there's fuel. I just pray we get fuel. If we don't get fuel, our business meeting may not hold tonight. Though. Because if there's no lights, that will be another issue. So let's see how things go. Believing and trusting God. Okay, once again, you all are welcome to today's Millionaire School. So today, I want us to talk in depth of a lot of things. But before that, I want us to listen to this amazing woman, Stormy. Wow. Wilson. I want us to listen to this amazing woman. This woman, um, I met her early this year and Meeting her has been the, one of the best things that has ever happened to me in my life. Because she's not just a talker, she's a transformational speaker. She comes from pain, just like in our business. She's a professional network marketer. She knows the pain, every local, every low person. She understands what it means to build a business from the scratch, not having or, ha, not having or knowing anyone. But she took it upon herself to make a name she took it upon herself knowing that people are watching knowing that there is a calling for her to help a lot of people through network marketing and today she's really living an amazing life so let's listen to what she has to say she said know who the title of today's um millionaire school mind shift is for each and every one of us to know who we are you need to know who you are because you, your ability to know who you are will help you scale through every hurdle We've done a meeting before that told us that we have God's DNA in us. We have God's nature in us. Therefore, we are not to fail. We are bound to succeed. Failure does not exist. It's either you win or you learn and you move on and win. So let's listen to her. You let people closer to you tear you down and belittle you and steal your dreams and steal your goals. It's the hottest trend in the world right now. And as Time Magazine says, people are making millions. Tore down by the people that's closer to them. That's the reality. You let people closer to you tear you down and belittle you and steal your dreams and steal your goals and steal your, your target because they don't have a target or a dream or goal of themselves. And so you don't realize that hurt people hurt people. And because these hurt people are hurting you, they're really hurting you. And the truth is a distraction doesn't show up as a distraction. 
until long after you have been distracted. And so I'm here to tell you right now, you gotta stop and remember who the fuck you are. Too many of you all have allowed circumstances, have allowed people to take your power away. And I'm gonna tell you right now, when you are tired, when you are frustrated, when you are weary, when you are discouraged, when you no longer believe in your dreams, then guess what? You ain't going to do nothing but make enough money to survive. Now you start saying things like, long as I can pay my light bill, long as I can pay my car note, long as I can pay my phone bill, long as I got enough money to hang out and get my hand nails done, to hell with that. No, what happened to the day when you said you was going to be a multimillionaire? What happened to the day when you said you was going to break the generational curses off your family? What happened to the new band that you said you was going to get? What happened to the house you said you was going to buy? What happened to the business that you said you was going to build? What happened to the success that you said that you was going to have? See, me personally, I can't stop until I'm done. I ain't never comfortable. I am never content. There's always another level with my name on it. See, some of y'all may need to go back and remember who the fuck you are. And see, this is why today's call, I wanted to dedicate today's call to bringing on testimonials from the awakening. Because I'm telling y'all right now, the, the definition of awakening means the art of suddenly becoming aware of something. The art of suddenly becoming aware of something. Now, did you hear that? We started a campaign this year, the awakening of the alpha lion. What does it mean? Awakening, if you check your dictionary, it means the act of what? Of becoming something, the act of being aware of something, being aware of who you are. Ladies and gentlemen, challenges will never end. They say, well, I know they finish. But know that when the going gets tougher, the tough gets going. And tough situations do not last. But tough people do because it's a test. Remember, this year has been predicted to be full of blessings, abundance, showers of blessings. But guess what? To only the few that are ready to do what it takes, to the few that are ready to face the challenges, to the few that are ready to keep being consistent no matter what. That's the spirit of the winners of this year. And that is why it's very important. The people you surround yourself with, the people you listen to is very, very important because when you are in the midst of negativity, they will do all they can to pull you down at their level. But when you're a group of positivity, it's okay to, to get tired along the way. It's okay to sit down and drink water. It's okay to rest a little, but don't rest for long. Once you've caught your breath, move on. Move on. Do not allow circumstances or challenges to keep you. It's not easy. Why you are doing everything? Some of us, we are married. Some of us, we are mothers. We are this, we are that. It's like sometimes it's as if the whole world is trying to choke on you. Nah. You are capable of facing it all. And that is where time delegation comes into play. Assign this is the time for this. 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 Then commit to ensuring you execute every action that you place at every time. Reward yourself. But if you don't succeed, if you don't, if you don't achieve things you set out to do in your daily to-do list, in your daily war list, then trust me, you don't even deserve. You can punish yourself. If you don't deserve to eat, or you don't deserve to sleep. And you know, I was having a conversation with Tammy yesterday, and Tammy reminded me how coach, this is the last awakening. And she reminded me how shouts out to Tammy Price. She reminded me how so many people are unaware of what they need. They don't know they need it because it's needed. And then they go get it and then it's like, oops, I needed this all along. See, some of y'all need what you don't even know you need. That's why it's a trick. That's why it's the trick of the enemy because you don't know that you are being stolen. You are being depleted. You are being sacrificed. You don't even know this. You don't even know this. You're so busy going, 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 going. You know things ain't really working out for you. Money looking funny. Your, your, your relationships changing. Your body changing. You ain't feeling the same. You know something ain't right. You know something ain't adding up. But you just going, 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 going. But you don't realize that you have been tricked. You don't even realize that you've been tricked. Your bag real low. Your attitude real nasty. Your ego real big. Your emotions real real low 
Let me tell y'all something, man. Let me tell y'all something about, about, about a champion. A champion knows how to practice even before the fight. A champion knows how to check themselves. A champion knows that they are destined to be a champion. A champion knows that they supposed to be on top. Let me tell y'all something. Let me show y'all something. Last night I went to the club, man. And it, this, 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 what, this what I was staring at for, for 25 seconds. Look at this. Look at this. Look at, look at Floyd Mayweather. Floyd Mayweather got a professional chain fixer that fixes his chains for him. He got a professional chain fixer. Nigga fixed his chain for him in the club. He don't even fix his own chain. That's, that's what you call knowing who you are. He got a professional chain fixer. Come on. Ain't you know what I leaned over to Manaya. I said, let me tell you something, Manaya. You are as big as you make yourself. So there are people that want you to be small. Well, see, let me tell you. Something. <coughs> Did you know what she said? <coughs> Sorry. She said, you are as big as you make yourself. Don't allow people to make you small. She just showed a video of a young man that got a professional chain fix, fix, fixer to be fixing his chain in a club. What is she trying to say? You are big. You are big based on how big you see yourself, based on how big you define yourself. And that is what matters. Don't allow people to make you look small. Don't allow people to make you feel small. Who you are, you are the one to create it. The life you want, you are the one. That which you want to achieve in the next 10 months, two years, five years, 10 years, make it a reality in your mind. You are big. Let your mindset push you to live the kind of life of who you truly are. It doesn't matter what anyone thinks. It doesn't matter what your loved ones think. What matters is what you as an individual think about yourself. And that is why you have to think yourself in a big way. You have to think yourself and see yourself in a very big position. See yourself being big in every areas and accomplishments in life. What matters is how you see yourself, not what other, other people's opinion does not matter. Other people's opinion, it's not your reality. Can't be big and little at the same time. There are people that want you to forget who you are. They want you to forget. They want you to show up small. They want you to throw in a towel. They want you to fold. They want you to throw in a towel. You hear that? Some people want you to fail in life. There are people that want you to give up. There are people that want you to quit. Are you going to give them that power? Do you know there are people looking up to you? And that is why it's very important you wake up every day and go wake up the beautiful you, the handsome you, then go out and be for the day. Give all your critics enough things to watch because you are the one writing your story. They are not the ones that will write it for you. So don't allow people to get what they want. A lot of people are waiting to see you fall. A lot of people are waiting to see you broken. A lot of people are waiting to see you quit. A lot of people are waiting to see you, negative things happening to you. Do you want to give them that power? Is that your reality? Obviously, no. And that is why you need to create. See yourself bigger. And it starts from the mind. Because what starts from the mind manifests. They want you to quit. Because the more you excel, the more you show them who they ain't. And so you got people that don't want to see you go to the next level. And here's the deal. I'm going to tell y'all something real quick before I bring on some of these testimonials. Send me a request if you want to share a testimony. It ain't nobody's job to put you on top. It ain't nobody's job to put you on top. It ain't nobody's job to put you where you see yourself. Come on, man. Picture somebody coming saying, I see you as a superstar. I see you as a legend. I see you as greatness. I see you as a queen. Let me put you up here. Come on, man. Think about this for a moment. Did you hear that? That the level and the height you want in life, nobody would put you there except you. People can assist you to get there, but you are the one to get yourself there because it comes from the inner willingness, the kind of money you want to make in this business. If you say yes, okay, yesterday someone, I, one of my prospects signed up through the follow-up we did. 
just that registration, one sign up gave me over 35,000. Why am I telling you this? If you tell yourself, hey, all I want is just enough to pass for the day for I and my family, you have enough. Remember, Liz Brown said, shoot for the star, shoot for the moon. Even if you don't get to the moon, you land among the stars. Always tell next that which you want to achieve in life. If you say your goal is 10,000, then work towards making 100,000. If you say your goal is 50,000, work towards making 500,000. Don't just settle for 50,000 because the truth is you achieve 50,000 and even more. So what do you say to yourself? What are the limiting beliefs you, you, you tell yourself that makes you not producing the results? What's keeping you from learning presentation, ensuring people, see, we have it too, ensuring people are watching presentation. In fact, starting from next week, our Zoom meeting will be once in a week, every Saturday. During the week, all of us should get people watching the video, doing home parties, then pyro inviting people towards Saturday meeting so that we can be having a big, we can be having bigger numbers. Our population can be big. Because we need to practice that. I knew that each and every one of us need a growth in our business. That was why I took up the pain to go learn a course. And I'm still on that course. I don't want to get you guys when I, I don't want to bring in you guys into the skills I'm learning to boost your business when I've not even test run a lot of things, make mistakes, fail, and know what works and what doesn't work. Because I know that it's money. For example, running adverts, it requires money. And I don't want any of you to come and put your money in something that will not give you results. If you guys notice, a lot of things have changed about me on social media. I'm practicing on a lot of things I'm learning, a lot of things. And I really want to perfect in a way that when I come, I say, okay, let's get all of you started on social media adverts, on paid adverts. Guys, start saving your money. Start saving money because in a day for social media paid adverts, in a day we are talking about you any um, spending at least minimum 5,000 to run adverts, to get traffic. All of you start planning for projects 500. What's delaying you? Choose a location and start planning. Because if you don't start planning, we are not fixing dates immediately because you need to start planning in order for us to gather the contacts that is needed. Work with your team members, team up with some people in your area. Plan Project 500. Someone called me, I was like, she wants Project 500 for Easter. I said, sorry, Easter, I lost someone in my family, so I'm traveling for burial. Actually, I'm traveling for burial, and from there, I'll also go see my mom. My mom, who is a widow, then I'll come back. So I'm traveling for two weeks. That period of, I'll be traveling between um, good, um, between good Thursday and good Friday. I'll be traveling to come back around 27 or 26. And the place I'm traveling to, I may not even have the opportunity to be doing Zoom meeting, because as a woman, there are a lot of tasks I need to do. But I will always be communicating with us online because there may not be even networking where I'm going. To. Why am I saying this? Why are you not learning the skills yourself? See, guys, there's something that they are doing. Well, my, one of my team members is in, in the North, Sokoto people. This woman, Adria, she's a Muslim, an elderly woman. She learns the presentation, then meets with her people, meet people on a low level, identify her niche. She uses the products to help people. From there, she brings them on board. That's what works for her. I'm not saying she do the same. But if you feel that there is a way you can identify people that have problems that our products can solve. Someone sent me a message last night. I have someone that is suffering from one person, gonorrhea, uh, syphilis. Nipro, nipro something, three things, one woman do. I was like, okay, come to the office. Now, why am I telling you this? The kind of money you want to make, yesterday I asked us a question, how much have, did you make last month? It's not about setting goal. And I know there could be, there'll be, there could be um, storms along the way. Are you giving up? Are you being intentional and sincere that you are doing what you have to do, even in the midst of the challenges? Remember, it won't be easy. 
If it was easy, it would have been, success would have been something for kids. It would have been a child's play. Some of us are producing results. Some of us are not. Today, we are being reminded of who we are. We are God, made of God's DNA. God's nation is in us. And we must keep pushing irrespective of what is facing us. And we must keep pushing ourselves to becoming professionals and better, learning, overcoming your weaknesses, ensuring people attend soon, ensuring your prospecting, your following up, following the system we are teaching, ensuring that you are making your conversations, you're making the, those phone calls. Ensuring you're having your home parties or ensuring people watch the video together with you because giving people video to watch, you have to watch it with them. Or use the professional scripts of asking them, if I send you this video, would you? Intentionally making sure people watch our business presentation video or attend our lives with it and then place them in your broadcast list called follow up. Once in a week, I send out follow up messages for us to send. Do you know that follow-up message is yesterday? If you guys see what that message did to a lot of people. You guys saw a post of someone, I'm paying for three accounts. Someone was like, okay, I'm expecting something this month. I want to go for 31 accounts. Consistency. If I was not consistent, do you think those people, see, this world, this era, we're in an attention economy. The people that make the highest and the loudest noise are the people that produce this result. And that is why you must keep showing up every day, every day on people's faces. Because once their mind is finally made up, who will they remember? You, because your noise has been so loud. Why do you think even up today, Coca-Cola is still advertising as big as they are? MTN is still advertising as big as they are. Why? Because they need, why do you think that big brands go to um, football um, Premier League? to keep advertising. They need attention. See, ladies and gentlemen, in the business world today, the people that make the highest money are the most noisy people. People, that, organizations, individuals that make money in their business are those that make noise of what they do the most. And they don't quit. They are consistent because they know that it's a long-term journey. Remember what I thought about follow-up. If you're here and you miss our follow-up training, go back and watch that video. They say that the fortune of our business is seen in the follow-up. 10% people say yes to you at the point when they saw the business, but 95% will say yes at the, at the 12th or the 15th time of encountering them, of you encountering them. One lady, I think is Mrs. Nenna or something, Neka. Madam Eunice Prosper, the moment I sent that follow-up yesterday, she was like, Mama, I still have you in mind. I'm walking towards it. Just make sure your noise is the loudest, but do it in a way that doesn't offend people. On Monday, you can decide, okay, Monday, let me check up on all my prospects, know how they are doing, how is their health. Those that told you they were not feeling fine before, ask them, hope you are getting better. If you have product that can help them, go dash them product. Those that say, I lost someone, I traveled, go and know how they are doing. Hope that everything went well. Sympathize with them, be empathetic with them. Those of them that say, hey, my child has been sick, go and know how far. Don't talk about business. This business is is a human being business, is a relationship business. People do business with people they know, they like and trust. You need to win people over with these three things. Creating relationship. If you are doing every day, join the business, they will run away from you. Monday, get to know how they are doing. Follow your last conversation with them. Tuesday, you can give them motivational value, motivational quotes. You guys always have access to many motivational write-up. Send to them and learn how to be uploading a lot of things on your status. Ladies and gentlemen, start doing as I do. Now, anything you see, now it replaces some of those links you see me posting on my WhatsApp link, drawing prospects. Imitate, then edit with your WhatsApp link. The Wednesday could be the day you are educating people on our products. Your prospects, you send a program and say, so, 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 just write the right tone. The four, oh yeah, we are having a mega business summit. Oh, do not miss it oh, because the mind shift is mind blowing. That section is awesome. 
prepare their mind and get them excited towards the next business presentation. On the day of business presentation, inform them, do not miss it, or do not, as in, make noise, call them on phone, the active people that say don't attend, the general people, tell them something to look up to. If you guys notice, in our business presentation, my beginning part is always different. I call it the mind shift. Get people that, to get your people to keep attending business presentation because of that mind shift aspect. Get them excited. Then the next day could be follow up. If you're doing these things six times every week, six times every week, people will always look forward to communicating with you. They always look out. Do you know why? You are giving them value. You are creating a relationship that gives value. Okay? So define yourself. Who are you? How much do you want to make? Wake up every morning as a beautiful queen or a handsome king and go beast for the day. You are a lion. Who gonna come and put you where you belong? But you, goddammit. Ain't nobody gonna come put you where you belong. Ain't nobody gonna put you where you belong. You gotta put yourself where you belong. You gotta put yourself on top. You gotta take yourself to the gym. You gotta take yourself through that transformation. You gotta take yourself through that deprogramming and that reprogramming. Ain't nobody gonna give you nothing. I'm here to tell you, I had to remind myself that. As a matter of fact, I had to remind myself that ain't nobody gonna come say you're great because of your hard work we're gonna give you a check no you gotta go find the right vehicle that's gonna pay you the monies that's gonna get you the check you gotta be around the right people that see greatness but also but also work hard themselves let me tell you something there's people right now that have settled for less because they have no clue of how great they really are and some of y'all know what i'm talking about because it's you you forgot how great you really are because of that one little failure. Man, don't let one failure make you throw in the towel. Don't make that one relationship make you think that you can't get a good man. Don't make that one friend that played you and betrayed you make you think that there ain't good people out here. Don't let one relationship ruin all of the beautiful people that God has placed around you. Don't let one failure make you think it's final. Failure is never final. Every successful person was once a failure. You got to know this. But there's certain things you gotta do. You gotta be in the right environments. You gotta change the way you think. You gotta change the way you speak. You gotta change the way you move. You gotta change the things you let people say to you and speak over and into your life. You gotta be careful. Cause there are some people that don't wanna see you win because your win proves to them who they are not. You ain't even gotta do nothing. You ain't even got to do nothing. Just your existence affects some people's self-esteem. And that's just the reality. Your pure existence is affecting people's self-esteem. And you don't even realize it, that you should be further along. But you keep allowing the wrong people to speak over you, to put limitations on you, and to tell you what you can and can't do because they too lazy to do it. That's why when you see people around you that ain't elevating, like I got a new goal. Listen, my goal is to help women get to 20 grand a month. And if the people around me don't get to 20 grand a month in 90 days, I got to cut them off because it just shows me that they ain't listening because I got the blueprint to get to 20 grand a month. If you don't get the 20 grand a month and you listen to me, you ain't really listening to me because that's easy to do. 20 grand a month is, is, is easy to do. But then there's 99% then there's of you guys that's on this call right now that say you fuck with me, but you ain't making 20 grand a month. How? 20 grand a month, I do that in a day. How you ain't making 20 grand a month? Because you think you know what you don't know. That's why you gotta be in certain environments that make you feel uncomfortable. That's why you gotta be in certain rooms. And that's why you gotta stop talking so damn much and you gotta learn to listen. Why aren't you there yet? Because you need a deprogramming and you need a reprogramming. You gotta deprogram and reprogram. You gotta know that it's something that I ain't doing right. And you got to get around the right people that ain't afraid to help you understand what is it that you got to change. And I'm going to tell you right now, the environment that you're in, you hang around five broke people, you will make number six. And that's the problem. A lot of you guys are in the wrong environments. And you don't even realize that it's the wrong environment. But I'm going to get to you. It's the wrong environment because look at your check. Look at your body. Because who would accept you being overweight and not tell you that you're sick and you're on your way to self-destruction? 
Who would be around you making 100, 200 grand a month? And I tell you that you should be making at least 20. They're not. You know why? Because you got people that need you to be small so they can feel big. There's people that's around you that need you to feel small so they can feel big. And I'm telling you right now, that's the issue. That's why you got to wisen up. That's why you got to wisen up. They, 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 they using you for, for, for energy. They use you to make them feel big. And they're trying to take you to a place that you don't even supposed to be in because you are destined for greatness. God created you for greatness. You are destined for greatness. But you got to know this. And nobody ain't going to put you where you need to put yourself. Ain't nobody going to put you where you're supposed to put yourself. You got to put yourself around the right people, around the right environments, around the right message, around the right visuals. This last night, I can't say nothing about, about y'all, but this right here, I needed to see that last. I ain't give a damn about nothing. I ain't give a damn about no two chain performance. I needed to see that. Put some respect on his name. Put some respect on his name. Put some respect on his name. He got somebody that fix his drips in the club. You feel me? I see Shabazz in the corner, OG. He got somebody that just make sure his neck laid right. Come on, you think you think you think his manager said we need to hire someone to fix your chains? You need we need we need to hire. Or did he say I don't like how my chain be flipping and shit? And if somebody came around, watch this. I guarantee you, I can't wait to talk to Shabazz today because I need to understand this. How did this person get this job? I'm calling Shabazz today because I want to know how did Floyd Mayweather hire somebody to fix his chains? I can barely get a motherfucker to check my email, goddammit. How he got somebody to fix his chains? Every five minutes, the man was fixing his chains, y'all. And you, the man did it with pride. He didn't do it like, fuck, man. He was like, every time he did it, every time he did it, I kept watching. I was caught up. I was caught up. I had to see this because I'm like, wow, man. That's when you're around people that honor you, that respect you, that appreciate you, and that gives you power. Do y'all hear me? When you are around people that respect you, that honor you, they, they, that, that gives you power because it makes you feel good. It makes you feel like you're doing something right. That man, let me let y'all see this again. I need y'all to see this again. Look. He kept doing it. He kept doing it. Look, look. That Floyd ain't, ain't, ain't flinching. He know he look at a man doing it with pride. Look. Floyd vibing. Ain't no pressure. Look how he's doing it with pride. And it makes sense. See, some of y'all was like, he got an ego. No, that, to me, yes, if my chain's getting crossed up, it makes sense. Look at the boy doing it with pride. Honorable. Damn. I can't get a bitch to check my emails right. God damn it. He got a nigga fixing his chains. You feel me? With honor. Ooh, that did something. I, I need to see that. I said, I said, you know what I said? I said, I'm getting my team all the way together. That right there showed me. I said, that right there brings you confidence. When you got people that 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 would do that for you, listen, you got people that see hair all, all out of place and won't even say, won't even fix your hair for you. You know, you got people that see you thirsty and they 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 around you and they know you talk a lot and they won't even hand you a fucking glass of water. You understand what I'm telling you? That's why you gotta change your circle because the right people will honor you, you and honor us. your gifts. Did you and hear that? You need to change your circle. The right people will honor you and honor your gifts. Jesus Christ wasn't, wasn't recognized and made king in his home country. It was outsiders, strangers. That's why when I see some people missing millionaire school, I laugh. Do you know what it, do you know the kind of environment of positivity, environment of pushing you not to be your normal self, environment of ensuring you don't relax, you don't get comfortable. Ladies and gentlemen, remember, Milonescu is where we come to be empowered, then we go out to execute, we go out to beast for the day. Do you know that there are some sections I attend? Some of you should start paying attention to me. I used to be online even till 2 a.m. There are organizations I attended, I, I, I connected with this year. Our meeting, like a cell meeting like this, where we push each other to become better. Sometimes it starts from 9 p.m. 
to 10 to 12 p.m. Sometimes it's 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. And ladies and gentlemen, if you see this organization, in every meeting, we are nothing less than 200 around the world, 11 p.m. to 2 a.m. After learning, we go to execute. Ladies and gentlemen, never you for one day in your life abuse the privilege of this millionaire school. We are here to be empowered. After the empowerment, we go out to carry out our income generating activity. We go out to implement what we are learning. We go out to beast for the day. Because all this information, if you're not acting on everything you're receiving, you will end up being a dummy, an information dummy. Because what makes you powerful is your execution, your acting. I sent a post, I said there is a difference between motivation and inspiration. Motivation is that which pushes you to do something. Inspiration is that which excites you to behave or do something. When you come to the millionaire school, hey, you're motivated, you're inspired. But guess what? Out of 10, out of 100% of people that attend uh, millionaire school, only one to three percent go and do what actually executes. Others will just keep listening, listening. It's good though, but if you keep listening, listening, you're just weakening yourself. You get to a level where you become an information dummy because you are not you are not acting on what you're learning. You're not executing. Execute in your own capacity, in your own level. Even if you are not, you cannot run fast like others. At least be moving. Even if it's slow, the most important thing is that you are not static. So be mindful of the people you stay around with. Be mindful of your environment. Ensure you always surround yourself with powerful people. People that don't allow you to be comfortable. People that push you to become better you. Because it's in the process you become. And they want you to just be on point. Because if you're on point, we're on point. That's the kind of people I've got to be surrounded by. People that know me on point, me, we on point. That man probably don't even get paid to do that. He probably just came around and was probably one of the one of one of uh, uh, one of one of Floyd Mayweather's sons, one of his people's sons, and the person saw his chain and one day fixed it for him. And then fixed it again. And Floyd was like, I need you to come hang with me. Come take a couple of fights with me. I want you to hang with me. You understand? So I'm telling y'all right now, choose higher over familiar, new rules. If anybody works for you or anybody around you and you got to work and beg for them to just do what's right to take care of you and you the one that's making the engine move, you know what I mean? You the one that's the engine to the, to the, to the everything. Hey, let me tell you something. Find yourself some new circles because that's the issue because you got to be around people that make you feel like you're unstoppable and that you got the power because the people that come around you, they could take your power. They could give it to you. And I'm going to leave with this. I'm going to leave y'all with this. As I let some people come on, there are people that will come around you that will take your power from you and make you think you're not that great. If people around you, they're not giving you power and making you feel like, oh, what I got to do, what I need to do, like will it to play any role for the team to win, get rid of them kind of people. Because the people around you are either building your empire or destroying your empire, period. Either they're building your empire or they are destroying your empire. And with that being said, I want to bring on a couple of people that came to the awakening because I want to hear some testimonials of what the awakening has done for you. And this is our finale. This is our last awakening, y'all. And it's over with. What's up, Chandra, girl? Thank you for being on. What's up, girl? How you doing? I am amazing. You got to have y'all watching, smiling, laughing, crying. You don't have me experience every motion available to man. Yes, yes. So talk to me how... How has the awakening affected you? How has being around the white people changed your life? Like, talk to me about who you used to be and who you are now after being awakened. So now, ladies and gentlemen, what do we learn from this? You see her asking so on what has the awakening surrounding yourself with a powerful group of people done to you. So for those of us that will be watching this replay, I need you to give me a summary of what you learned. Send it to me in the general chat. 
and also um, give me a report on what you did, your income generating activity that you've been doing, and let me know your next plan, and also ask your line of, your next line of action. And those of you, all of you listening to me, get started with your plans for Project 500. Project 500 doesn't take one day to plan and one day to execute. It takes time. The earlier you start your Project 500 plan, executing on those plans, the better, the better we can fix a date for the actualization of it. But very important to so everyone listening to me, you can send me a private chat to ask me what and what to do about your project 500. So I'll be ending the record here so that I can meet with people that are live on Zoom.